Hello everybody and welcome to Kingdom Hearts 1.5 We are here to do my favorite fight in the game I am so excited for a number of reasons Number one, we get to do my favorite fight in the game <laughs> Number two, I'm not even gonna bother with those guys cause fuck it And number three, my voice cracked Awesome. So yeah, this is my favorite fight in the game. I am prepared. I've got arrow. I've got a bunch of healing items. I guess I could equip some ethers, but I think I'll be okay. Possibly. But time for some major shit to happen. It's no use. That girl has lost her heart. She cannot wake up. What? You? You're not Riku? The keyhole cannot be completed, so long as the last princess of heart still sleeps. The princess? Kyrie's a princess? Yes. And without her power, the keyhole will remain incomplete. It is time she awakened. Whoever you are, let Riku go. Give him back his heart. But first, you must give the princess back her heart. What? Don't you see yet? The princess's heart is responding. It has been there all along. Kyrie's heart rests within you. Kyrie. Kyrie's inside me? I know all that there is to know. Tell me, who are you? It is I, Ansem, the Seeker of Darkness. So, I shall release you now, princess. Complete the keyhole with your power. Open the door. Lead me into everlasting darkness. Oh my god, I love that scene so much. Oh, it's so good. Oh my god. Holy shit, I can't believe I'm doing this now. Oh my god. Ow. What an asshole. Alright, so if you guard and do counterattack, you win, basically. Also, eat a fucking Arts Arcanum, bitch. Oh shit, here we go. Now, fun stuff is gonna happen. Now he can use Stark Raid, in a sense. Ow. Man, you get a lot of, uh, text for blocking him and stuff. If you're itching for experience, uh, I guess this is kind of a good way to do it. Ow. Uh-oh, that's bad. Best to use that, I suppose. Ow. Aha! Oh, I want to use our as Arcanum, but oh well. I guess I'll heal, yeah. Alright, so you just, you know, glide. Pretty easy. Yeah. There we go. We win. <laughs> oh, man, that was so much fun. Probably could have gone a little bit faster, but... Hey, we did it, though. Got MP up too, and Critical Plus, and Ragnarok. So you just like blast with all this freaking stuff to get. <laughs> but no AP to get it with. 
How sad. Riku! Sorry, sorry, what? Oh, the keyhole! It won't work! The keyhole's not finished yet! What can we do? Maybe we gotta go wake Kyrie up. I think you're right. If we can free her heart. But. But how? A keyblade that unlocks people's hearts. I wonder. Sora? Falling, falling into darkness. Sora? Are you really? No, he can't be. I won't let him go! So, you have awakened at last, princess. The keyhole is now complete. You have served your purpose, but now it's over. Do you think we can stop him all by ourselves? I don't know. Impossible. No. You won't use me for this. Riku! You've got to run. The Harless are coming! That was some wild shit. You know what's even more wild? We're actually playing as a Hurtless. Like, my- Oh my god, kid me like exploded from seeing this. Like we're- like we are a Hurtless right now. We're playing as a Hurtless. Like I never would have expected this in a million years. I mean, how many people just like had their minds just freaking explode out of their freaking heads? Like their brain just like just snapped like what i don't know man this game is just like a fucking acid trip and i love it oh my gosh i'm not gonna lie i actually like got a little bit choked up there too very uh very emotional scene very well made oh man i mean riku's fucked you know sora's gone and kairi's alive but at what cost you know? 
Bringing her back to life has destroyed so many people's lives. What about the psych one freaking girl? I'd say pretty girl, but she's 14, so it'd be kind of awkward. It's only like nine years younger than me. Fucking hell. I feel old. It's only came out 13 years ago, dude. Kyrie, hurry. I can't leave them behind. We can't stay here. Yeah, no shit. A heartless is after us. What? I don't know why I said in that tone of voice. <laughs> I'll take care of him. It's actually completely, like, not what I wanted, but whatever. I can't believe that fight's over already, though. Like, he's kind of easy once you have beat, like, fought him like a thousand times. <laughs> he's difficult, like, he's difficult, though, when you first fight. He's so hard. I mean, with, you know, counter guard and guard and everything, counter attack and guard, he's so much easier. Without that stuff, it's just, it's difficult. Or can be. Anyways. I'm not leaving without Bell. Now go! The Heartless are coming. All right. Let's get out of here. Tell me what happened. So the darkness is flowing out of that keyhole. No wonder there are more and more heartless everywhere. The only way to stop them is... Seal the keyhole, right? Maybe, but no one knows what will happen once it's sealed. Well, we can't just stay here. We have to do something. I've got a friend back there. That's right. You have one more friend to worry about. Riku's Keyblade must have been born of the captive princess's hearts. Just like that keyhole you saw. Of course, without Kairi's heart, it remained incomplete. Once that Keyblade was destroyed, the princess's hearts should have been freed. Don't worry, Sora. If anyone can save your friend, you can. Alrighty, so that scene with, you know, us being a heartless, and then we not become a heartless anymore, back to normal, it's kind of weird. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, not like there's anything wrong with it particularly, but it's just like, kind of hokey, maybe, but, <laughs> but to be per perfectly honest with you, you know, it's a cute scene, you know, the power of love brings us back to life, I don't know, I don't have anything any real issues with that. But, what I do have an issue with is the fact that we need Gravity Break and I want Ragnarok. That's going to be hard to get. I mean, I can get rid of Critical Plus, even though it would be really nice. Um, Ragnarok, after an arrow combo, select a follow-up attack at the right time through Unleash Ragnarok. For airborne targets. It's basically Ars Arcanum, but for uh, enemies in the air. Which is pretty useful. It's a good move, you know. If you unleash the Ragnarok, the final part, at the right time, you can do a lot of damage to a lot of enemies. So it's definitely a good good one to have. 
However, I don't exactly have a lot of ways to get it. Unless I get rid of something here and get 3 AP, which... I mean, I can do like Holy Circulate, but I lose 4 Strength and 2 Defense. And we're gonna need as much of those as heavenly possible. Which I can also get rid of in Counter Plus, and then I just need to get 2 more. And then I can get rid of Combo Plus and Sliding Dash. Um, is there anything from here I don't need right now? I want that, I want that, I want that, I need that, need that, need that, need that, definitely need that. Keep that, keep that, keep that, and that's everything. Alright, so, equip, and... I would prefer to have Encounter Plus because it's pretty useful, but we'll survive without it. Um, Goofy, even though he has MP Haste, it, that's only really useful if he attacks. And right now, second chance is going to be a lot more important. It'd be really nice when Donald gets second chance because it would be, he will survive a lot more. <laughs> Especially with uh, Leaf Bracer. He'll be able to like, not die ever again. Almost. Alrighty. Uh, I think that's pretty much everything. Um, I didn't use any potions <laughs> in that fight. But hey, Kyrie's back. Are you feeling okay now? If you're not, then say so. Alrighty. So from here on out, the Heartless are going to be a lot more difficult. They're going to be a lot stronger. But at the same time, you're going to get a lot more experience. Now these guys used to be 32 and now it's 60. I think the lowest is going to be like 60, I think. 60 uh, EXP is the lowest. These guys, I believe, will be 180? Yeah, 180. Ooh, Bright Crystal. Wow, okay. I'll take that. But yeah, as you can see there, you know, Gooby almost died right there. It's really a good uh, note to see, like, how much damage we take. Which we actually haven't taken any damage yet. I'm kinda surprised. We will though. Oh, see? That's how much damage we did from one attack. Alright, for Ragnarok, I think you have to wait about one second. And if you do have uh, the vibration settings on, ooh, the stronger the vibration is, one. Oh. Alright, so a little bit less than a second. I'd say 0.75 of a second. Oh, that was a gravity break right there. There we go. Yeah, I'd say about uh, three-fourths of a second would be perfect. A full Arcanum takes one down. It is insane. So yeah, as of right now, gravity would be really... Oh yeah, see fire does like nothing right now. Ow. Honestly, strike raid would be your best bet right now. Thing is, with strike raid, strike raid is like strong like always. Like it's always really good. I think what I'm actually going to do... This might be a little bit crazy. I'm going to get rid of Ars Arcanum right now, and I'm going to equip some stuff back. Um, I don't really know what I want to get. Uh, I'm going to get two critical pluses, actually. I think that'd be good. So yeah, I won't end the uh, episode just yet. There is something I want to show off, and there is a few things we can do. Some really quick things. There we go. But yeah, like now, like right now would be a great time to grind. And this, I usually end up grinding here until like, probably like level like 54, 55. Actually 54. Because I believe, I think it's level 54. I believe that will be the level where you get something really, really, really useful. A really useful ability. I won't talk about it just yet. 
because I don't want to spoil it for those who don't know. Um, so you can buy or calcums. They're 5,000 each, so they're really expensive. But if you need to get one, they're right there. Now, we do have a couple things like an Onyx Shield and Adamant Shield. Um, I'm not really sure how useful Ad Adamant Shield is. I don't know how strong it is. Uh, we also have Wisdom Staff, but I believe what we have right now is just fine. Not again, I'm not really entirely sure how useful those weapons are, but to be honest though, that the I believe it was the adamant shield that would be really useful though because it'll help a uh, goofy be able to block stuff. And let's see, so you, yeah, now this is actually something that's new in uh, I believe it's new at least in the uh, final mix, isn't it? Not the uh, NTSC. Gauge one version. Uh, fire, ice, and lightning raises strength and defense. I believe I'm. Uh, actually, I don't know. I might be two def or two strength and two defense. It might just be one strength and one defense. I'm not sure. I would hope it would be two of each because then it would actually you know be useful. But oh man, wow, we need three mystery goose for that. Oh jeez. So yeah, these will take a long time to get. Uh, power crystal. That one probably won't take too long. But anyways, I'm gonna be worried about all this synthesizing stuff off screen because you know it would just be a lot easier. Um. Ooh, we should actually heal. And then there's gonna be one more thing I want to show off, and then we'll uh, go from there. Actually, that'll be the end of the episode after that. Because we have already been going on for 22 minutes. So. So, yeah. Holy crap, though, man. What an intense episode. I mean, there's been a lot of, uh, you know, plot stuff going on. You know, all the monsters are really strong. You know, it's just like there's so much going on. It's, it's, it's it gets pretty crazy, not gonna lie. It, Oh yeah, another thing is that all, as you can see, all of the Heartless uh, spawns are different now. So how we used to have, you know, the uh, the fire guys, the thunder guys, you know, fire shards, thunder shards, ice shards, and bright shards would be a little bit more difficult because they won't be in as many places. Um, all those should still be in Wonderland. It's really the only place where they'd probably be. But you're also going to find the dark balls, you know, the flying balls of things everywhere. You'll see the uh, wizard guys everywhere. You'll probably see the wyverns everywhere as well. So, it's going to be interesting. Now, right in here, the gizmo shop is one of the best places to grind in the game. Especially... Especially right now. Now, if you have Encounter Plus on, which actually I probably couldn't have that on. Actually, I'm going to do that. I'm going to have Encounter Plus on and then Encounter Plus. With Encounter Plus on, you can just, like, after you complete this part, you can just walk out the door, come back in, and all these spawns will be back. Now, this is probably the best place in the game to get money. So, if you're itching for money, this is a place to go. If you're itching for experience, again, this is a place to go. Um, you're gonna see a lot of wizards in here too. Like a lot of wizards, a lot of dark balls. Hello? There we go. And a lot of the uh, defenders. Yo! You get a uh, tech boost from that, or tech, uh, tech experience. Wyverns are in here too, so you. Ch like, pretty much all the crystals are gonna be in this room. So, this is a great, like, all around place to get uh, crystal stuff. Power crystals, uh, lucid crystals, bright crystals, and shiny crystals. I think I was, that was all four. I don't know. Of course, these guys are here too, so if you need that. Um, you, I don't know if you heard, but when it went ching, uh, right there, I don't know if you heard that or not. If you listen closely, right at the end there, then you hit it. 
admittedly, it does take a little while to get used to when to do it, but... But once you get it, you'll... It's, it ends up being really useful. Just practice, you know? Just keep practicing, keep using it, find what area feels right. Ooh, there you go, shiny crystal. Just don't die here. Because I've died here before. I think I got like two shiny crystals and then I ended up dying. I was so mad. Oh, I was absolutely livid. Ugh. There we go. So yeah, we're getting a lot of good experience. Right there. Perfect. That's actually a really good frame of reference. Ooh, strength up. Look at that, we already gained a level. Great, we're probably really cl Actually, no, we gained a level from that fight too against, uh, Ansem and Riku. Ooh. But yeah, at this point, Strike Raid might actually be the best, uh, best thing. So if you don't, can't get Ragnarok, that's fine. Make sure you always have Strike Raid though, because it's cheap and it does a lot of damage. And you can hit from far away. It's a really all-around great move. It's probably the best, uh, best attacking ability you can have, honestly. I mean, eventually Ars Arcanum will probably do more damage overall. But as of right now, as you can see, it's... Really good. I mean, you can kill those guys in three hits and then attack somebody else. Ours at Kingdom takes a full, a full combo all of its own. So there you go. And we are kind of close to a level up. Not really, but. But anyways, I mean, and that took me what four minutes. So that's not bad. Three or four minutes. Um, up here is another place. Wait, what? Oh, it's probably, yep, the monkey. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Which I actually don't need to do that anymore. So yeah, with encounter plus, walk right in. And there you go. Actually, I'm going to destroy that guy. Because I find those to be the most difficult to get in the game. The lucid, I think he drops the lucid ones. Now, something to uh, to note, the defenders, the guys with a shield, can drop- it's a 1% drop, I believe, but it can drop a weapon for Goofy. I believe it's the second best weapon in the game for him, in a sense, in terms of attack power, I believe. And then the wizards can drop a, a staff for Donald, which is really useful as well. By the time you get it though, you probably have the ultimate weapons for them, so it won't really matter anyways. And the ultimate weapons are... At least for Donald, it's easier to get. Oh man, I don't want to fall. Oh well. But yeah, that is a great place for a Dark Balls. A Dark Knight Ball spawn. So generally what I like to do is kind of... Go in the Gizmo Shop, do all that stuff, go on top. Get that guy. Then you could probably even come down here and like do some fights and then just go back into the gizmo shop and go on so so on and so forth. If you are playing the Kingdom Hearts 1 version of uh, the PS2 version, I should say, the non-final mix version, uh, you could just go into, uh, you know, go in here, do the gizmo shop, go up there, then go on the rooftops actually on top, uh, Right up there. I don't know if you can really see, but. But yeah, go on the rooftops. Keep going that way into that room. And go to the third district. Do all that stuff. Go to the first district. Heal and save. Then go to the second district to keep going. So you can do like do that route. I found that route to be really useful. Loving up and forgetting all the crystal stuff. So anyways, I'm going to stop wasting your time because I've been going on for about half an hour now for this episode. Longer than I had really expected and anticipated, but that's okay. Uh, I'm just going to finish up all here, which is precisely why. 
we go. Power crystal. Those are actually kind of difficult to get, honestly. I mean, obviously, all the crystal ones are gonna be really difficult to get. Makes sense, right? So, there you go. Oh. Yeah, Critical Plus is really, really useful. Especially right now. Alright, I'm gonna fight these last three Wyverns. Um... What you can do, uh, you can actually go into the hotel there. Yo, I got another power crystal. Wow. Alright, if you go into the hotel here and go through that long strip of, uh, long strip of the room there, there will be, uh, four, I believe if, uh, four wizards and, um, three or four, uh, defenders. Another place to go, you can, you know, slink in through there, get those, and so on and so forth. Anyways, I have been talking for way too long. There's some strats for you. Great great ideas to go through i think anyways that's why i use them <laughs> anyways i hope you guys enjoyed and in the next episode honestly we're just gonna continue on we're just gonna continue going on going forward and moving and until next time guys i hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful day